I'm going to show you how to use Adobe's new Photoshop tool, Generative Fill. Let's get straight into it. First, to get access to this feature, open up Adobe Creative Cloud, go over to beta apps and download Photoshop beta. This feature is not available yet in the public version. Now that you have access to this feature, let me show you how to use the feature. Now, when you open up Photoshop, you'll see this toolbar in the bottom here that you can actually move around. And to see the new AI feature, just make any sort of selection and you'll see it pop up in this toolbar. And if you press on it, you can type in a text prompt to change whatever is in your selection, or you can leave it blank and Adobe's AI will fill in the blank for you. Now that we have the basics down, let me show you three different use cases on how you can use this in your workflow. Let's start with extending images. As you can see here, the left side of the image is cut off. So what we can do is select on the crop tool and extend the image left. And right now there is nothing there. So what we can do is select on the marquee tool and make a selection on the left side, click on generative fill and let it generate by itself. And within seconds, you can see it extended this image. What's also great is if you click on the generative layer, you can also see different variations for this. And you can also regenerate this if you want more options. You can also use this to remove people as well as objects from a photo. Think of this as a better version of a content aware fill. In this image, you can see there's a lot of different people, a lot of tourists. So if you want to remove one or two or maybe all of them, it's very easy. So let's take this person, for example, we can just highlight them with any sort of selection tool press generate to fill and generate. And within seconds, they're gone. Now let's select the lasso tool and do it with a larger group of people and press fill. And super easily, we just moved a bunch of people. You can also add new things into your photo or you can change existing things. So for example, we have a sky in this photo. So let's go ahead and change it. With the lasso tool selected again, let's make a selection around the sky. Press on generate to fill and let's type in cloudy sky. Here, it'll give us a bunch of different options. I like this one and we're done. And let's see a quick before and after. That's about it. You can check out our Photoshop playlist in the pinned comment below.